Hey motor pedal bikers, in this episode we are going to install a generator. Stay tuned. So the cool part about this generator is that it has its own coil so it allows you to uh, run a separate wire for your lights and not uh, lose any power for your spark. Um, but there is one thing that I, I'm going to uh, fix on this first and that's uh, if you can see this here it has a pretty small wire and it's also made out of uh, steel, not copper, so it doesn't conduct as well. Um, and the complaint online is that these uh, these can get hot, these wires. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this uh, pretty close to the coil. We're not going to unwrap the coil because uh, <laughs> then it's just like an unwound spring and just boink everywhere. So we're just going to take a little bit of insulation off here and then we're going to put on a thicker copper wire. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and cut off this wire here and we're going to leave mm, about three quarters of an inch just to have some working room in case the splice doesn't go correctly. We can do it again. Okay, so now we're going to take our wire strippers here and this is I believe the smallest setting because it's not a very big wire. We're just going to hook onto that and then try not to pull it out of the coil, just be really careful. Okay, so we've got the splice started, and then we'll just pull off the insulation like that. Okay, so here's the wire we're going to replace it with. Uh, this is just automotive zip cable. Uh, what we're going to do is just cut that in half there so we can divide it. So here we go, we're just going to go ahead and splice this. This is quite a bit thicker gauge so we're going to use uh, a bigger hole here and we'll just oh didn't get it all the way yet want to be careful not to lose any hairs of that wire okay now for this part I'm gonna to have to take off the gloves uh, what we're gonna do here is twist these two wires together just so they have a little bit of a hold. Um, there we go. You want to make sure that they're good and wrapped so you have a good foundation for your splice. Alright. Okay, and because this is steel, we're going to take a little bit of flux just to make sure that we get a really good adhesion with the solder because uh, Steel doesn't like using solder, so we're just going to brush a little bit on there. And we'll get it on all sides here. Don't need a whole lot, just enough to, to coat everything. Okay, and now we're going to take our pre-warmed soldering iron and our solder, and then solder this splice. You want to make sure you have a little fan running whenever you're soldering because the smoke is toxic. So see we're just going to heat it up until it melts and then put the solder right into the wire. Alright, and that's all there is to it for making the splice. So once your splice is done you just want to insulate it with a little bit of black electrical tape. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take off this magneto cover here. Okay, now that we have the magneto cover off, you can see here, right there, that the uh, wire is actually quite thick for the ground and it is made out of copper, so there's no need to replace that wire. So now all we're going to do is take these screws out right here, these two. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and uh, pull out the grommet here and fish the wire through first uh, because we may need to move the coil around while we're feeding that wire. 
Okay, there we go. Now we got that wire pulled through. Want to be careful, the edge right there is pretty sharp, so you don't want to cut through the insulation on your wire. Just feed it through slowly. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and mount the coil right here. You can see here that uh, the tabs of the new coil actually run into the, uh, the little spinner here. So what we need to do is mark those off and then trim the tabs. Otherwise, it's going to be rubbing the whole time. Okay, so now we have the tabs marked on the coil here. We're just going to... Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so that breaks very easily. So we're going to not use a screwdriver, and we're just going to pull this off. Oh, okay, so that's just insulation. We can go ahead and glue that back on. That's not a big deal. High quality stuff though, huh? <laughs> so yeah, we got just a little angle grinder diamond wheel. We're going to use that to make the cut. Okay, so now that we've got our tabs cut to size, we're going to go ahead and glue on these uh, insulators that fell off. Uh, they just didn't use a very high quality adhesive um, <laughs> and that's what happens when you don't. So uh, we got some 3M plastic emblem adhesive which is very very sticky and whew, very smelly as well. Uh, you do not want to get this on your skin it takes forever to come off and it burns. So uh, that is the reason for the uh, prostate exam gloves here. Ah! <laughs> Again, this is why you need gloves. Oh, shit. Stuff's everywhere. Now we're just going to make sure those are lined up and uh, give it about five minutes to set up before we put it back in. All right, so now that the glue's had a chance to set up, we're going to go ahead and actually put this in the bike motor this time. going to be very careful trying not to break those tabs off again. You want to just try to keep the wire down here out of the way of uh, the spinning, uh, spinning little metal piece here and out of the way of your washer but that should go without saying. <laughs> All right, and then you want to uh, switch it over to the flat blade on the uh, the last part here. Just make sure you get extra torque down. Uh, you don't want your coil to fly off. Well, it won't fly off, vibrate off <laughs> uh, while you're riding it. And then it's going to have to go on top of the coil right there. There should be enough room with the cover still. And then we're just going to... Uh, feed the wire all the way through the grommet here and uh, then that's uh, pretty much it. You want to be careful not to pinch your new wire again because uh, it wasn't designed to fit in there obviously. It's an addition. So we're just gonna have to kind of coax it down a little bit. There we go. And then over here, again, you want it to be on top of the magneto so it stays out of the way of the mating surface of the panel. Just kind of bend it into shape there. Okay, there you go. That's all there is to installing a generator. Now, I should mention that uh, you don't want to just hook your lights right up to this wire. Um, this should go through a voltage regulator and then have a battery and then some fuses and then your electronics. So, uh, we will be doing that in a later video. Uh, this was just to get the generator installed. Later on, we will be installing all the electrical accessories. 
All right, thanks for watching today, guys. Um, stay tuned, make sure to click subscribe and click that bell icon. We will be having things going on with the bike really soon. Things will be going on the bike. Um, it's just a matter of what comes in the mail next, uh, but there will be a lot more to come and there will be a bike in the future videos. This has been Ben with Pulsar 2121. Bye.